Today I'm gonna to show you how to take your GoPro, hack it, and turn it into a super macro camera to get shots like this. Now if you like action sports, then you probably like your GoPro. It's the go anywhere, do anything camera that you can get really close. In fact, like about like this, you can get pretty sharp focus. Um, anything closer, it's it doesn't look quite as good but that's where this hack comes in. And the reason other cameras and lenses can get things that are really close to the lens and focus is that the optics within that lens move around and that allows it to focus properly on the sensor back in the back of the camera. The GoPro doesn't have that. The GoPro has a fixed lens. It keeps everything from about here back in focus. And that's good for action sports because you don't want anything moving around, but it's really bad for macro. You just can't do it. But the brilliant thing with the GoPro is that you can actually uh, move this lens and that's the hack that I want to show you today. Now before we begin I do have to give credit to the person who showed me how to do this Trent and he came over like showed me how he does it. I thought it was so amazing that I had to share it. Obviously the guys at GoPro when I talked to them they said well we can't recommend people do this to their cameras which is obvious I mean they're not gonna tell people to do that because you are um, you know cracking off a lens component on the front but it's actually surprisingly simple and this is all you need. You'll need a razor blade, a pair of pliers, electrical tape, a Sharpie, some kind of two-part epoxy, a small applicator brush, and a GoPro 4. And you can also use a 3 or a 3 Plus, but it's a little bit more difficult, which I'll explain here in a second. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to pop this hood assembly off and allow ourselves to screw this lens around and get the proper focus that we want for our macro shots. Step one, take a Sharpie and add a tick on the lens, the hood, and one on the camera. Right here I found is a pretty good place. The reason for that is so that you can get it back to the right spot for normal GoPro use after we're done. Now take your razor blade and go around the hood and pry it up until it pops off. Now I had to go all the way around a couple of times to do it and it wasn't too much, it just came off pretty easy. If you're using the 3 Plus, you actually have to use that blade to cut all the way around before it'll pop off. That's why it's a little bit trickier. Step three, take a pair of pliers to loosen the lens. It's, it's really almost impossible with your fingers just by itself until you get it untightened. Remember, lefty-loosey, at this stage, it's about experimenting to figure out what focus you want. I found it took the entire turn for me to get the super macro stuff that I wanted, but whatever you do, you really are going to have to find some way of monitoring the video. Using your phone is okay, a monitor on the back is pretty nice, although the best thing is to have a high quality monitor that you can plug in, and that'll allow you to get that perfect focus. And obviously that perfect focus is really important when you're dealing with really tiny stuff. And then what we'll do is we'll put the, uh, the hood back on, and with a little bit of epoxy, you can kind of re-glue the two together, but not to itself so that you can use this to screw back and forth. And that's it. And also, one last thing, just remember these Hero 4s shoot in 4K, and the beauty of that for macro work is that you can crop down and it still looks pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. I have to give a big thanks again to Trenton and Phil for showing me all the GoPro stuff. It was really super handy. I got a lot out of this particular hack. Stay tuned for more from Jonas and Haley and I, and we'll see you in the next video.